everyone welcome back to my channel my name is vanessa if you are new here now in this video we're going to be going over 10 other catholic books that i have on my catholic bookshelf right now i'm in the process of moving so i'm really having to like look through all of my books and with that being said none of these books are in any particular order i'm just pulling them from my bookshelf so that i can show you guys what i have and so i can figure out what i want to pack away for the next month and ones that i absolutely need to bring with me and so if you guys want to see the next 10 books that i have on my bookshelf then just keep on watching the next book i have is called teaching authority this is by jimmy aiken this is a recent addition to my bookshelf i'm not really sure where i got it from but I know that I was super excited to receive it. It teaches what does the church teach about and also teaches us about the authority of the church, which is so useful in any conversation you're having with our Protestant brothers and sisters. Because that's something that we're really like, again, like divided on is of the authority of the church. So it's nice to come back to the roots and understand how to defend it. I'm going rocket fire in this video because I have so many books to get through and I'm now realizing that I have way too many. So I have Who is a Devil by Nicholas Court. Um, this is basically talking about the devil and answering questions about the devil. A lot of us have questions about him or how to explain him. So I was super excited to add this book to my bookshelf. I believe I own two copies of this book. And it's just like in beautiful condition. So I cannot wait to really dive in and read it throughout these next months. And so that I can relay the information to you all. The next book I have is called Catholic Verses by Dave Armstrong. I love every Dave Armstrong book I have in my bookshelf. And this book book basically dives into Catholic Bible verses or Bible verses and then like explains them. I have another book of his on my bookshelf that does the exact same thing but does not explain the verses. So I find that super interesting but I love this new addition to my bookshelf. I love Dame Armstrong books. This is one of my favorites. Next book I have is called Believing in Jesus, a popular overview of the Catholic faith. So this is like another one of these like catechism books, books that are great for RCAA. Um, it's a study guide. It takes you through the faith, our beliefs. So I always love having these books on my bookshelf because even though I'm not converting to the faith, there are a lot of people who are. And so when I can find books like this that I can easily pass along or can easily dive into and explain how they explain it in the books versus like my over explanation of things these books are super helpful the next book i have is called the interpretation of the fourth gospel so in my previous course we discussed the synoptic gospels so i kept this book on my bookshelf i'm not entirely too sure what it dives into it was just one that i felt like i should keep on my bookshelf i donated around three basket full of books so this one was a i mean I had to go through all of my books to figure out what I wanted to keep. But for whatever reason, I decided to keep this one. So let me know if you've read it. Um, but this is a new addition to my shelf. The next book I have is one that I'm super excited about. It's called The Saint Maker. So this is my second copy or like version of this journal. It's a Catholic life planner and so each season so every four months they come out with or every three months excuse me they come out with a new copy so this is the one for spring and it's this beautiful purple color and so each day you are given like a prompt and you're asked to answer questions about gratitude, your daily devotions, appointments you may have, maybe the daily cross you're bearing. And then at the end of the day, you like reconcile everything that you discuss. So this book was really helpful for me in my last season of life. I was going through a lot last season. So this book, um, the other one that I had, really like brought me back down to earth and took me down a couple notches and made me reflect on my life and reflect the life that I'm living for God. So this is a great journal to have. If you have any journal in your life, I really recommend picking up this journal. And so what's really cool about this for myself is that Saint Maker is actually working with me. So they have given me an affiliate link, which you can use in the description bar below, or you can use my code, which is Catholic Girl. And so if you decide that you want to buy this planner, please use my code or my affiliate link because it lets them know that I have reached my audience because they recognize that my audience may need this planner. And I think so too, because I really needed it in my life. So it lets them know that I've done my job <laughs> at getting the word out. But this is, I wouldn't recommend anything that I don't actually believe in. And this is something I really believe in. So I really, really, really suggest picking it up. The next book I have is The Five Points of Calvinism. This is one I've shown on the channel before. I picked this up from the thrift store. It was only like a dollar because I got it on clearance. But I picked it up because Calvinism is something that we discuss a lot in Catholic apologetics. It's something that has like 
like cause like a fork in the road for a lot of different people so i really just wanted to get down to the roots and find out what they believe from the the sources themselves instead of hearing someone else tell me about it i want to hear what they have to say about their beliefs so this is one that i picked up i have not engaged with it enough but this is one that I plan on reading in the next few months and hopefully diving into with you guys. The next book I have is called Essential Catholicism, Dynamics of Faith and Belief by Thomas Bokenader or Boknader. I probably said that name totally wrong. But this is like another one of these like apologetics books that talks about the faith. It talks about where our beliefs come from. It talks about the councils. So this is just like great reference book to have on your bookshelf. And so I love having it on my bookshelf. I'm always referencing it. As you can see, I have little tabs in here. So this is just a great one to have. Next book I have is actually one that was gifted to me by this author of Liz Galvano. So this is not an apologetics or reference book, but this is a book that is a novel that uses Catholic teachings or the Catholic faith embedded in the book. And I find that so, so important. I don't read enough novels. I read a lot of history. And so because of that, I don't really engage in storytelling. So whenever someone offers me a book and says like, hey, I want to send you my novel. I really like, I'm like, okay, send it to me. Because I used to be a big mystery like person reader. I would read a lot of Dean Koontz growing up. And I just like fell off that train. I don't know if it was because of my dyslexia or the fact that I just couldn't see properly. So I stopped reading. And so I really want to just like get into reading for like leisure now. And so I love getting books like this. This is a great one that I would definitely recommend. I think she has like multiple books in this series. So please check her out. I'll have her link down below. The next book I have is Blue Collar Apologetics. This is by John Martinoni. I've talked about this on my channel before. John Martinoni was the first Catholic apologist that I really like understood. Even before Trent Horn, even before I found out about Catholic Answers, I would listen to John Martinoni's like talks that he had on his website. And that's how I found out about him. And he really like brought a revelation to my eyes. If I had to say that anyone brought me to the faith, it would have been John Martinoni. I was born Catholic and raised Catholic, but the one that really hit home at the beginning was John Martinoni. And he actually wrote me a little note and sent me this book. We, I had reached out to him back in 2018, I believe, or 27, no, 2018, I reached out to him, maybe 2019. And he didn't respond back to my email until 2021. And because he like felt bad that he didn't respond, he sent me his book. And I just find that so heartwarming, the fact that he even like two years later, he felt the need to respond to my email. I If I don't re reply to someone's text within an hour of receiving it, you will never receive a text from me. And that's why I have no friends. So the fact that John Martinoni still reached out after two years I meant the world to me. It was so crazy for me to see an email from him in my mailbox. I thought it was just like his weekly newsletter, but no, it was a email saying that he would love to send me his book and now I have it. And this book I really recommend having um, for anyone that's just diving into the faith. It's really an easy read. This is one that I would like recommend to like absolutely everyone who wants to just dive into Catholic apologetics. The last book I have for this video is called Evangelicals and Catholics Toward a Common Mission Together. This was a book that actually like was really great for me to have i for so long thought that we had to be divided between protestants and catholics i thought that we didn't see eye to eye and i just saw the protestant church as someone trying to destroy the catholic church but then as i read this book like the first chapter i came to this realization that a lot of those protestant brothers and sisters of ours are actually just trying to like pursue the truth just as much as we are trying to pursue the truth although their truth may not be correct necessarily they are still trying to spread the word of god spread his love and that they see that they need to save us you know it's not that they're like oh you guys are wrong but a lot of them are like you know what i feel bad for my catholic brothers and sisters they need to be saved and when we recognize that they're trying to do it from a charitable way some of them we start recognizing that wait maybe we shouldn't be so fighting each other maybe it's not us against each other but it's us against the lies of the devil so this book really brought that to my eyes so i really suggest picking this up if you also want to see like that common mission and you want to like bring us back to you know being brothers and sisters in christ and coming to the truth and helping each other in a more charitable way so guys, those are the 10 extra books that I have in my series of going through all of my Catholic books. I have a huge bookshelf full of books right now. 
So this is going to probably be upwards of probably 12 videos or more. I don't even know how many books I have probably way more than that 20 videos so if you guys are interested in seeing all the catholic books that i own please hit the subscribe button and also turn on that bell notification so you're notified when i post also i really suggest hitting that like button because it lets me know if you guys actually want to see these videos or if i'm just making them for myself so let me know if you guys actually do want to see them whether that be in the comments or in likes and i want to thank you guys so much for all your love and your support and your prayers they are so appreciated more than you even know and i can't wait to see you guys all in my next video bye